Okay, so now that those are configured, we'll go back to the home page of the site. And here we see, this is from the service links module. We get the image for Delicious and the text for Delicious. Similarly, image for Technorati and the text for tech Technorati. So I'm going to uh, open up the Delicious. And I've turned on the status bar down here so that you can kind of see what the link leads off to uh, when you click on it so that I don't have to click on every one of these to, to demonstrate how it works. Now in this case, Delicious is saying that I'm not logged in and so uh, this won't work for me, but at least they'll let me either sign in or create an account. But what happens is that it allows you to easily add the post to, del to the Delicious site. Um, and here with Technorati, if you take a look at that status bar down at the bottom, you can see that it's going to go and do a search for, uh, for this post. Uh, so now let's take a look also at, uh, we saw how it was in the links, you know, this area down here is co considered the links area, um, but then it's in the body of the node when you're looking at the full post view. So here um, we see how it's added, you know, up a little bit higher uh, before link to site and feed items because this is the full node view. But then here on the first page, we said we wanted in the links. And so, you know, this is the links area here and those links got added to the end. Okay, so now how about the dig this module? So what the dig this module does is it kind of has two different modes. Uh, one of them is for a page that has not yet been added to dig, uh, which, you know, this, this page is an example of that. So it says zero digs and, if, um, and it allows you to, to click on it to dig it, uh, to add it and submit it to their site. So you can see again the URL down at the bottom uh, right here is saying, you know, submit the story. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay. So it, it automatically fills in the title of the page. And, and by the way, I had to be logged into dig first, of course. So it fills in the title of the page and then the body of the page or the beginning of the body of the page as, uh, as the description of the post. Um, it's a little bit hard to navigate the dig interface on such a narrow browser. Um, but I'm going to say that this is uh, related to programming, for example. And then it gives you a bit of a a preview of what the um, what the post is about and asks if you're human a little captcha so I'm going to uh, hopefully I got that right so they're saying <laughs> that they think that my story is a duplicate of a uh, bunch of other different possible things uh, I don't really think that's the case so I'm gonna to say totally original I swear now I just kind of committed a bit of a, a dig error because uh, I broke the social norms that I was talking about earlier. Uh, within dig, it's it's considered bad form to submit your own site. So this is a, a little bit of um, something that, you know, somebody who's a real purist about dig probably wouldn't like very much, but um, just for demonstration purposes here, I'm, I'm going to go with it. Okay. So now we go back to the site and uh, amazingly enough, somebody has already dug this page a second time. That's kind of fun. Um, but what, what you can see is that if I, you know, because I've already logged in as, as a, a dig user and I submitted it, um, I, this is deactivated for me. But if I were a new user who had a dig account and were logged into dig, then when I come to this site, I would see a little, a little button here that I could click on to dig this post. So if it, helps visitors to your site who are active dig users you know they don't have to go and check oh has this post been uh, dug already and then they'll try to dig it no it's, it just says like yes this post is on dig and if you want to help promote it yep go ahead click dig so that really shows how admins and regular vid visitors to your site will use these modules. Uh, you can see how this makes it just a little bit easier for your site visitors to add your site to social bookmarking uh, networks, which is what you really want to help get the word out about your sites. Okay, Drupal Masters, it's time to go have some fun with your website. This is Greg Kanadison, exploring Drupal so you don't have to.